What's up everybody? Tiffany Outdoors here. Thank you for joining me again in this series. This is going to be part two of a four-part series on teaching a horse to accept fly spray. So done lesson one and now I'm back again to start lesson two. And I'm at my neighbor's house so I'm going to go ahead and turn off the electric fencer get the horse get her in the corral and then I'll come back and pick you guys up all right everybody we're back for lesson two so I'm gonna start from the beginning like today was the first day that I've done this I've got got my water bottle here a little bit more water in it today I'm gonna start from the beginning just not touching her with it we're gonna start off with that and then we'll progress from there step up step up She did a little bit of dancing around. I'm just going to start again. Give her a few minutes to rest to think about that she's still alive and nothing hurt her or touched her at this point. So I'm just going to start all over again.
Okay, I hope that was all in view, but um, she did very, very well. I'm so proud of her right now. Um, now I'm going to go to the next step, which is a micro step up. So my next step is I got water in here. I've got water in here, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to shake it so that it makes a noise, okay? Because I want her to hear the liquid swishing around in the bottle. So we're just going to take a little micro step forward before we go to the next step, okay? Okay, I'm not sure what that spook was about because um, I was touching her leg. I didn't hear anything out of the ordinary, just something in her own sweet mind that spooked her. But in between her resting, <clears throat> I was telling you guys that uh, she does have a problem picking up her feet. So in between her resting, I'm just rubbing her legs and just letting her sit, that, sit back and rest for a little bit while I just rub her down. Get her calm, get her relaxed. I'm trying to get her head to come down. So I'm just going to keep working on it. Now that she's had a few minutes rest from this shaking, now it's time to start that again. Okay, here we go. Her head's a little bit higher than I want it to be, but it's what we have to work with right now. She's 
kind of moved a little bit right here, so I'm just going to stay right here for a minute. Okay, so that was good. Now I'm going to go to the other side. Trying to get her attention. Her ears are over there. So if her ears are over there, so's are mine. There we go. Her ears pointed backwards now. It's pretty nice and low, that's a good thing. She just sighed, that was good. Every time they sigh deeply, that's tension relieving, or tension leaving their body. So every time she sighs, that's a really good sign. So I'm going to work with this a few more minutes, and then we're going to go on to step two. Okay, so I've worked with her for a little bit on this and she hasn't had any reactions. She's standing in the same spot she was a few minutes ago. That's a good thing. Um, so the next step, this is part two. We had part one, part one A, and then part two. This is going to be part two. So part two is actually touching her with this bottle. We're going to touch her all over her body with this. She's doing really good so far. Very happy. Now if she wanted to kick out, I have control of her head so I can bump her face towards me and get these feet away from me. for any sign of fear or discomfort and so far nothing this is really good so that tells me that I did my homework and prepared her for this step before we actually did it because when you're spraying them you never know this bottle might touch her I just want to make sure she's not afraid of it before we do that before we actually spray her Inside her legs, up underneath where her teats are, way down here. And now I'm just gonna bump, bump, bump on her, on her feet. Nothing. When I bumped that front hoof, she didn't like that. She wanted to leave, but she didn't really freak out, so that's a good thing. I'm just going to rub her leg 
with it again. Get her comfortable. She's coming off that pressure of the lead rope again pretty good. She's still got sticky feet. But she's doing a lot better than she was the last time. So that's an improvement. That is a great improvement. So she got uncomfortable when I tapped her hoof with it, so I'm going to start over again by rubbing her all over. She's not moving. That's good. So I rubbed her foot with it and she didn't move, so that's a good thing. She's trying to block me from coming on to this side, so I'm going to tap her face so that she allows me over here. Like I said, most of the time we do everything on the left side, and a lot of times horses don't want you on this right-hand side because they're just not used to it. You notice she'll use her nose to try and block me, and I just tap her face out of my way. start again. Two taps. Boom. She didn't move. I come back up. Come to the top. Continue rubbing her with it. I'm not trying to scare her on purpose. I just want her to understand that nothing bad's going to happen. Rub her leg again. Make sure I can rub all over without her doing or moving. Two taps, and then I'll come back up here. She took a step back, but that's okay. As she saw, nothing bad happened. It's all part of the process. A lot of repetition. Didn't move. Good. This time I'm gonna do three taps. Continue rubbing. Rub, 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 rub. Just thinking about leaving. Just trying to decide: is it worth her energy? straighten out her stamps. That's good. She's creeping back, but that's okay. Don't want to trap her. Let her know that standing still is okay. And it's okay if she's uncomfortable and needs to move. Three taps, no reaction. Very good. Step up. Very good. Good girl. Nice. There she goes trying to block me again. I'm going to pet her old head. There we go. Okay, so that last time I tapped her hoof eight times, she didn't move, so that's a good thing. So we're going to keep moving on along her body and go to her, go to her back legs. What? 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 Now you need to back up. Back up. Back up. Good girl.
That's good. That's good. progress. All you have to do is be consistent. Make sure you're doing the same thing over and over again. And in between, when they're stand still like this, give them a rest. Leave them standing there. I don't allow her to eat because I want her to be concentrating on what's happening, not just eating. So this is not an eating exercise. It's a fly spray or water bottle exercise. And she keeps wanting to come up here by me, so that's a good thing that she she kind of trusts me and wants to be near me. That's a good thing. I want her to trust me. I want her to understand that I'm not going to do anything that's going to hurt her. I may do things that frighten her, but at the same time, she's slowly coming to understanding that nothing bad is going to happen. So now I'm going to go down and do the same thing on her left side. Wants to leave. Can't leave. Can't leave. Just keep that face tip tip towards me. Of course, there's something biting her belly. Go underneath her belly. Around her legs at the top, those little creases down along the inside and outside of her leg. And I'm not sneaking with this. I'm not sneaking. You see, I'm not sneaking with it. I'm touching her. I'm letting her know that this is going to touch her. I'm not going to be all sneaky with it. If you get sneaky with it, then they get suspicious. I don't want her to be suspicious. I want her to trust me. So I'm going to knock on her hoof a little. That's okay. It's okay. If she wants to move, that's okay. I'm not going to make her feel trapped either. Just going to rub her foot. Rub her foot, her hoof, her leg. You gotta make sure she's okay with this before we go to the next step. Just a little moving around, that's okay. Probably annoying, but this is a necessary step in all of this. She wants to leave. Can't leave. Can't leave. Just keep that face tip tip towards me. Of course, there's something biting her belly. Go underneath her belly. Around her legs at the top, those little creases. 
down along the inside and outside of her leg. And I'm not sneaking with this. I'm not sneaking. You see, I'm not sneaking with it. I'm touching her. I'm letting her know that this is going to touch her. I'm not going to be all sneaky with it. If you get sneaky with it, then I get suspicious. I don't want her to be suspicious. I want her to trust me. So I'm going to knock on her hoof a little. That's okay. It's okay. If she wants to move, that's okay. I'm not going to make her feel trapped either. Just going to rub her foot. Rub her foot, her hoof, her leg. You gotta make sure she's okay with this before we go to the next step. Just a little moving around, that's okay. annoying but this is a necessary step in all of this Easy. Oh, just touched the wire the wire's not on but she thought it was Something like that could happen. Luckily, she didn't spook into me. I'm glad that she didn't. It was a little one. So I tapped on the front foot a few times and she did really well. She let me tap it about 10, 12 times. I didn't really count, just tapped it a few times. So in between her standing still, allowing me to tap, then you have to give her a few minutes to let that soak in, let her realize she's still alive, hasn't been hurt, hasn't been killed. So I wanna let her rest here for a few minutes and then we're gonna continue on. Okay, I've let her rest for a few minutes, let her sit 
just sitting there relaxing shaking off all the horse horse um, horsey monsters and now I'm gonna start again She's about to leave, so I'll quit tapping so she'll stay still. Let her realize there's no need to move. Continue on. That big old head, ears, face, mouth, underneath, chest. Go back down to the leg. I'll rub this time. Rub, rub, rub. The next time I'll tap, tap, tap. I wanted to move, so I stopped. I didn't know no reason to move. Continue rubbing, or we'll rub again. Rub, rub, rub. I'm gonna rub again. Rub this side. Tap, tap, did it move, that was good. I'm gonna go down the back leg. Underneath, in between her teeth. She's funny. Now, she doesn't have a problem with me tapping the bottle on her back legs. It's her front feet that she doesn't want anything to do with, so I'm going to have to work a little bit longer on her front feet than I do the back feet. So she's totally okay with the back feet. Um, so I'm just going to continue doing this for the next few minutes, then I'll come back. Okay, well, she has done very well. She's accepting the bottle now. She's letting me rub her all over. She's letting me tap her feet and tap her legs with it, or tap her hooves with it. And she seems pretty okay with that now. In the beginning, as you saw, she was not, she wasn't having any part of that. So she has vastly improved. So the next lesson, I'm going to do a part 2B for her, just to get her a little bit more accepting of this bottle before we start doing anything else. So stay tuned for that, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.